All right, so the last one then. Let's move over to NFL because back over to the NFL. Playoff picture. Uh, any, Got the playoff picture as of 10 any minutes. Surprises? Are y'all surprised by these teams that are, that are, you know, up at the top, and you know, in the playoff picture? All right. You want me to read them off? You know, you don't have to. I'm just saying if you want to look down the list and see, like, what – what what ones are you surprised that are in, and maybe ones that were maybe a team that you're surprised didn't make it? This you know season? what? I'm not so much surprised. I'm more excited to see these matches, honestly. Yes. Yeah. One of the first wild card games would be Buffalo and the Titans. That would I think that would I think that would be a good game. Okay. You know, Derrick Henry, King Henry might be back. We don't know. Well, then it'll be a good game. We see today Buffalo's not the best running defense. So, you know, that might play into Tennessee's hands. And then, you know, A.J. Brown came alive this past Thursday. They still got Julio. You know, Julio's Julio when he, you know, when he's not injured. He's injured. He he ain't he ain't a shell of himself. He's just injured. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just making a face. Go ahead. No, your face said it all. (laughs) 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 All right. You had your moment, bro. I'm just. I'm. Then, then the second game, really, really the the four and five game. That's the game I would want to see. The Colts versus the Bengals. I think you know, it would be interesting to see how the Colts defense. Approach Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, Joe Mixon coming out the backfield. And then you still got a mobile quarterback in Joe Burrow. You know, you see Kyler got loose on him last night. He didn't score, but he got loose. And um, and then the three and six game would be uh, New England versus the Chargers. So really, Buffalo and Tennessee, those would be rematches from earlier this year where King Henry had probably a game of his life. And then, you know, Justin Herbert would get his second shot at New England after looking pretty bad when they played them earlier this season. So out of those three games, which ones would you guys like to see? To be honest, I – I don't have a lot of excitement about the AFC because I, I, I think those individual games will be exciting, but they're all going to fall to Kansas City. So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, do I really care that much? Um, they, they, they just they, Those teams aren't put together, man. The Ravens are beat up. The Bills are don't run the ball. Well, they were shoot, as of right now, the Ravens not even in the picture. The, the Bills could be up 21 points and they would still would throw the ball 10 straight plays. So – I, I don't like that kind of offense. Um, you know, it's a personal thing, maybe. Maybe it works for the Bills, but the AFC is – AFC, I mean, you talk about – like, I, I'm so proud of, like, how Joe Burrow's turned around the Bengals from what they were last year. But they're still only 9-6, and six, and he's third in the AFC. Like, how are you third in the AFC at 9-6? and six? I, No, that, that's a weak division uh, or conference. Um, so yeah, my, my excitement is all in the NFC right now. Cause I honestly can look at the NFC and be like, I don't know who's coming out of there. You, you think about it. The chiefs lead at 10 and four, the NFC alone has four teams at 10 and four. So, uh, there's a lot of excitement. Those are all the teams that's going to win. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm saying up oh, there's four teams that I don't know who's going to come out of those four. You know what I mean? Right. Like the bucks, the Rams, the Packers and the Cowboys. And I'm sitting there, you know, cause the Cardinals, Man, I'm just sorry. They're just not the same. So I'm but looking I think, at the teams, and those are going to be some real exciting matchups. Go ahead. Go ahead, Walt. My bad. Go ahead. Uh, no, I'm about to say, I, I'm going to have to, but to answer his honest question, I think he said, what's my what's the surprise team in the AFC? I definitely have to say the Bengals. Uh, that's definitely the surprise team because, I mean, they started off, I think, what, three and four, if I'm not mistaken, or uh, something like that. Uh, like two and, two, something like that. And I mean, now granted that the Ravens have had a lot of injuries, and you know they kind of like dismantled themselves in the in the standings. And but like I said, the Bengals—they've been playing great. Burrows, um, if he wasn't hurt last year, I feel like this would be the same way that Burrows would be playing last year. Honestly, um, uh, he's doing a great job in, in Cincinnati. Uh, I, I really wish <laughs> he could have came to the Browns, but 
Yeah, yeah that's so they system and that's the the scheme that's that set up for break uh Burroughs in the uh Cincinnati. It, it's just great. That's my surprise team. Um and like like John said, in uh, in the NFC it's it's a toss up right now because I mean you got the Packers, you got the Cowboys, you got the Rams, the Bucks. It's it's a toss up. I don't, I really don't know who's coming out the NFC, so I can't give you no answer on the NFC, but yeah, my surprise team in the AFC is most definitely the Bengals. Yeah, so that's my two. For the AFC is my surprise upside is is Bengals, and then downside, I don't want to say Ravens because they've been beat up. Uh, I would maybe go, go Chargers. Ahead, I would say maybe say Chargers or Steelers. Um, I mean, yeah, Browns are there, right, right, but I, I think the Browns have been ripped off by the refs a lot, so I don't think a lot of it's their fault, but um. I, I would say probably the Chargers or Steelers. Like, they've kind of – I thought they would sh- – you know, I thought Ben Rothberg would be back in the gym uh, and show some potential. He no, Instead, he was like, you know what, this is retirement year. Uh, and then the Chargers, I thought we'd see a little bit more growth out of them. Right? But, you know, we'll see. And then in the NFC, Eagles, man. Like, Eagles are my – you know, now they could easily slip out and fall and lose the next two. But I'm saying right now – I'm a little surprised. I thought this was the year Daniel Jones was finally going to figure some stuff out and maybe go nine and seven, ten and six, something like that. But uh, well, I guess seventeenth game, so not you know nine and eight or ten and seven, whatever. But the Giants are really flopped. So yeah, I, I would say the Eagles were my surprise, like upside. And then on the downside, man, the Seahawks. Like Russell Wilson was there all year. You know what I mean? Like I know some want to be there. I, but as I'm saying, he was there all year, so it's not like it's not like uh, Lamar Jackson where he was banged up or nothing. Like this guy had reins of the whole the reins the whole season, still couldn't figure uh, you know get it done this year. So um, those are my kind of upside downside from each each conference. Man, his defense though, his defense has been so terrible this year though, man. But I mean, he hasn't been the best either though. Yeah. Oh no, I I know the Seahawks have some holes, but I mean, you know, the greats a lot of the greats win year in year out. Um, and it's kind of hard to see Russell Wilson have a season like this. Nico? I think the one team no one wants to play is the Colts. No one wants to play the Colts. The Chiefs no. don't want to play the Colts. Titans nope. don't want to play the Colts. Now for a third time. You already lost to them once. Uh, New England, you know, they just lost to the Colts. So, yeah. So, question for y'all: Y'all think that Colts is going to take this momentum into the playoffs and maybe make a run? I do I think, because um, I think they got that Tennessee effect from wait, a couple even years. With, ago. Even with Carson Wentz in the backfield, I, I think they got the Tennessee effect from a couple years ago. I mean, you think about it, you're playing in some outdoor stadiums, man. You got Kansas City. You got so I mean, you you got you know New England. Like those are all good running places, and that's what the Colts do well. Um, I mean, Derrick Henry was able to capitalize on that a couple years ago. Remember, he took out the Patriots and the Patriots before they, falling. Look what you just said, though. They, the coast, they, the coast play inside, right? Yeah, but yeah, they, they got, like he, they but, got but, but money carries over into the playoffs. It's a, those cold. It's games. a whole different ball game when it's cold, though. I'm just saying, though, like <laughs> whole for, different ball game. You gotta go to, you gotta go to New, Orleans, New England. All right. All right, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, that's, I just feel like that's, I mean, that's a lot. That's, yeah. that's a ballsy call for y'all. Is New England's going to run the ball too? And what's going to happen? The team with the best running game typically wins those kind of games. When it gets yeah. real cold and the wind is insane, the team who runs the best wins the game. Um, you know, now once you get back in them indoor, maybe if Indy's indoor, you know, again, again running is always good. You know, passing is, it comes and goes with the weather. So, um, you know, unless it's ice, just, then, then running just sucks for everybody. I just feel like with the Colts not really having that type of experience since the Peyton Manning days, I really don't think they're going to make a deep run in there. I mean, I just feel like they're just hot right now in the regular season. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. So, I mean, I don't see them going anywhere in the playoffs, honestly, especially with not with Carson Wentz in the backfield because he's bound to make mistakes. I think the most dangerous team in the NFC – I think it's the Packers, but it won't be for the obvious reason of Aaron Rodgers. I think A.J. Dillon is going to have a big postseason. The, the big number 28, 200 and what is he, like 6'1", 250 pounds, playing running back. 250, you, you ain't trying to tackle that, yeah. especially there. But it's already cold. 
Didn't you tell me I got a tackle with 250 pound running back? 